what is happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for joining me tonight as we take a look at a brand new product from our friends at RetroWaxBox.com. We now have before us the Generations Box, which I am pretty excited to rip into. These are available right now on the website, and they are $79.99 delivered directly to your door, as well as an array of other boxes, the baseball box, the basketball, football, the Millennium Box, the Big Fly Box, literally something for everyone on RetroWaxBox.com. I have yet to open these. This is the first time that I'm taking a glance at this with you guys tonight. So let's see what we have inside of the Generations Box. It says every box will include at least one featured pack previously offered in the Retro Wax Box. There are some examples there, 82 Don Russ, 89 per deck. At least five mid-tier Junk Wax Packs from 87 through 91. At least two packs from the Millennium Years. 95 through 05. And finally, modern packs previously offered in our Big Fly Box. And you may remember a while back, I opened the Big Fly Box once and pulled that red ink Juan Soto numbered out of 72 autograph, which is a case hit. I was really ex excited about that. And uh, we have boxes may contain a combination of wax, jumbo, cello, and rack packs. All modern packs will be hobby only and pulled from licensed brands such as Tops and Bowman. Again, RetroWaxBox.com to grab yourself a box of these or any of the other products. Email Jared with any questions and check him out on social media, Facebook and also Instagram. Let us get down to ripping. See what we have inside of here. I see some colors that I like already off the bat. And one of my favorite sets ever, 1990 Leaf. And we have one pack from each series. So that is pretty exciting. Looking forward to ripping into those. We have some modern packs inside of here too. Three to be exact, 2019 update, nice one there. We have 2018 heritage, and also Chrome Platinum Anniversary from last year. So that's pretty exciting as well. Our junk wax packs, 91 tops, 87 Don Russ, and look at that, 1989 per deck. Very cool. 1982 Don Russ, 2010 tops Chrome. So some packs that I'd never really get to open. So this is very exciting for me. 89 Bowman looking for Griffey, 91 per deck. Looking for Nolan Ryan autograph, 94 Bowman. That's another one of my favorite sets. 96 Leaf. And last but not least, we have 96 SPX looking for autograph Piazza Tribute and or Griffey commemorative cards. There's only one card in these packs. I opened one of those a while back. It was 96 or 97. So, again, Generation Box, $79.99 delivered directly to your door. We got a nice variety of packs here. We're going to save some of these for a little later on. We'll save the newer ones for last upper deck from 89 or 82 to Unrust. 90 Leaf, and we'll just start cracking into these randomly. 91 Tops will be the first one up. Looking for a Chipper Jones rookie card. Maybe even possible Desert Shield pack. That'd be absolutely crazy. There is no indicator whether a Desert Shield or regular Tops. So unless you rip them, you will never know. Gold Cup, we have Jose Canseco starting things off. Mark McGuire, so far so good. The Topps propaganda piece, Juan Gonzalez second year card. Rance Mullenix in the first pack, <laughs> we should not be surprised by that. Templeton, Steve Lake, and Ripken. So not a bad pack, not a bad pack at all. McGuire, Canseco, and Ripken record breaker along with Juan gone. Good way to start things off. I guess we'll... We'll go into 96 Leaf next. I feel like I used to buy a whole bunch of these. This is like right around the tail end of when I stopped collecting, and I liked this design back then. Tim Naring, one of these days I'm going to open a box of these for a throwback break, I think. Hammonds, Albert Bell, Tony Tarasco. I think at one point I was putting this set together. Steve Avery, they always had cool inserts in Leaf packs. Dave Justice, and looks like we got a Jason Schmidt. I think these might have been subset cards. Number 213. Schmidt, Alex Fernandez, who I was pumped on in the early 90s. Tony Clark, Brett Butler, Dean Palmer, Darren Dalton. And nothing too crazy in that pack. Still fun to go back and see those after all these years, though. We'll do 89 Bowman next. See if we can find a Griffey or a Tina Martinez rookie. Smoltz. Gary Sheffield, even. Let's see what we got here. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff Bittiger. I've never seen that car before, but we all know about his creepy 89 Tops car that I've sitting next to me somewhere, but I'm not going to dig it out of a pile. But Also, an equally creepy Jeff Bittiger, Bob Walk. And our reprints is going to be Satchel Page rookie card. Bowman rookie, Harold Reynolds. 
Mark Gubazak, Kevin McReynolds in a scum stash. There's Glenn Davis, Dave Valley, and that looks to be Gerald Young to end that pack. No Griffey, no big time rookies in that one. And we'll move along to 91 upper deck. And see if we can find this Nolan round. Looks to be Scott Scudder. Very down in the dumps on that card. Chris Sabo getting riddled with omens right off the bat here. But I do see one of my old favorite players coming up, so it is all right. Barry Jones, Frank DePino, Frank White. There is Jose Lean, my personal favorite back when I first started collecting cards between him and like Pedro Guerrero and maybe even Tony Pena at one point. Minnesota Twins sticker, Sandy Elmar Jr. Scott Cooper, who was a big prospect back then. Jerome Walton, Rick Sutcliffe. Rob Deere and his crazy antics and that mullet flapping in the wind. Mookie Wilson, Matt Williams, and there is Scott Scudder. This one is not referred to as a short print. So we have a few left before we get into the more premium packs, I would say. And I guess we'll start out with 87 Donruss. Looking for Maddox rookie, Bo Jackson, Barry Bonds, the Maguire's first Donruss card, Clemente's the puzzle piece. A few letters of his name there. Dave Winfield starts us off. Hopefully that might be a good sign here. Bruce Hurst. Dave Sachs, Horton, Kelly Downs, Rennie Bush. Dave Smith, Gene Garber, Puckett, and Charlie Hudson. So Puckett and Winfield, not a bad pack. Not a bad pack at all. 94 Bowman and 96 X SPX. This could be a Piazza or Griffey Auto. So I guess we'll do 94 Bowman next and see if we can find him here. I was pumped on these when I was younger. You had, the, you had Jason Ishring Haas and Rookie Card in here and a few other ones that were real hyped up. And these are some of the first cards that I opened when I got back into collecting. I bought, I think, two boxes of these off of eBay for like 40 bucks. I think shipped for both boxes. And I was like, 20 bucks a box? Like, you can't beat that. There's Jose Lima. That's a Jose Lima rookie card. Would have been a decent one back then. You also have like Derek Jeter's second year foil card in here. There's Cliff Floyd's probably a foil. Those ones were pretty cool back then. But yeah, Derek Lee rookie card in here. Tory Hunter, Edgar Renteria, Jorge Posada. A little bit of stickiness, but no paper loss. John Wasden, Ugeth Urbina, Brett King. It's kind of tough to read the names on here sometimes. Apier, John Crook, and we end the pack with Mike McFarlane. But cool design. I liked him when I was younger. And uh, definitely uh, holds some special meaning to me since those were the first cards I was opening back when I really got hyped on the hobby again back in like 2013 or whatever that was. So SPX 96, one card pack. These were kind of like revolutionary when they came out, I feel like. Whoa, look at that! We got a Piazza. Is it the autograph? I forget what the odds are of pulling that, but how crazy would that be? It's not a huge set, but that would be absolutely nuts, and I will cherish it if it is. Oh, man! So close, yet so far away. Piazza tribute minus the autograph, but that is freaking sweet, though, anyways. Typically, when I open one card packs of these, I get, I'll get somebody like Glenn Allen Hill or Pascal Perez or somebody like along those lines. So that's pretty awesome. The Piazza Tribute MP1. So very, very cool nonetheless. I'm pretty stoked on that. Now we're going to get into our uh, more premium packs. Boxes of 90, 96 SPX are still expensive. So I guess you can consider that a premium pack as well. I guess we'll start out with 2010 Chrome. We have four cards in here with Tim Lincey coming the pack cover. See what we can find in here. I don't think I've ever opened a pack of 2010 in Chrome before. Lyle Overbay starts things off. Matt Garza, we have a refractor in here. Cole Gillespie, that's his rookie card. And Teixeira, rookie as well. I don't know if there's one, one refractor per pack or not. Like I said, never opened them before, but still cool to go back and open old Chrome packs. I'd like to get some late 90s Chrome and open those at some point. Oh, let's see here. I'm probably going to save these for last because I love 90 Leaf. I love 89 Upper Deck. I mean, I love everything here, but I want to build the suspense up for those ones. 82 Don Russ. we got to save those ones for later. We're up into the newer stuff right now. We'll do Platinum Anniversary next. Very nice variety in here. Very nice. Michael Chavis greets us on the back. Jock Peterson is Cubby's attire. Ken Griffey Sr. winking at you. Jorge Guzman, rookie card. 
And there is Michael Chavis doing that pack, all with a 1952 Topps design. Very cool stuff. 2018 Heritage. Let's see if we can find a Juan Soto rookie card in here. I don't know if Acuna was in this set or not. I could not tell you, but I see Edwin Diaz to greet us. The 1969 Topps design. Billy Hamilton starts things out. Matt Moore. Price. Scooter Gennett. Delmonico and Bummer. Severino. Fulmer. And there is Edwin Diaz to end the pack. I like the design, though. Classic 69 Topps design. One more modern pack left. 2019 updates. For Austin Riley, would probably be the biggest one in the set. Jared Walsh also in there. You have uh, Kevin Biggio, other guys like that. Jason Martin, rookie card to greet us, starting things out. Let's see what we can come across. Zach Plesak, rookie card. Brad Hand, Michael Brantley with the 84 design. Jose Suarez, rookie card. Robbie Cano. There's a bunch of rookies in here. Jock Peterson, home run derby card. Shed Long, rookie. And there's Marcus Stroman to end that pack. So no Austin Riley, none of the big rookies we're looking for, but still not too bad nonetheless. I think we're going to save 90 Leaf. Eh, you know what? 82. I mean, we're looking for Grip Ripken rookie card. Lee Smith in there. Griffey in this pack, obviously. I guess we'll do 90 Leaf next. We'll work our way backwards. Series 1 has the Sosa rookie card. Series 2 has got the Frank Thomas. That's why boxes of Series 2 are going to cost you more money. Larry Walker is also in Series 2. Greg Olson starts things off. And here we have the commemorative Leaf card. I feel like I... I don't know. Maybe I've never seen that before. It doesn't look familiar to me or jog my memory. Pretty neat. Roberto Kelly. That's a big name back in the day. Bob Walk. Love this design. It is so crisp looking. I bought this whole set at an antique mall. I can't remember. It was probably four years ago, maybe, for five bucks. It was only missing the Griffey. And then I found the Griffey to flea market uh, a few months later for like two bucks or something. Vaughn Hayes, a name that did not resonate well with me back in 1990. David Cohn, Sweet Lou Whitaker, Tim Burke, Hubie Brooks, and Carlton Fisk. Which I feel like he was usually pictured maybe on top of the box or even like back when these were listed in Beckett. Back, way back, if you remember back when Beckett uh, listed actual pictures of the cards long long time ago and the puzzle piece yogi berra series one down series two up frank thomas rookie card let us find you or larry walker dave justice i believe is also in series two Let's see if we can find any of these guys but not too often i get to open 90 leaf one of these days we're gonna have to rip a box of these once again because they are just so cool they're too expensive for me back in 1990 so i never really had any of them Gene Harris, Kevin Moss, rookie card, would have had me flipping out back in 1990. Rex Hudler on his tippy toes. John Moses, who is definitely an omen from the Raleigh Fingers Yak Pack. Rips, Rick Reed, Kruger, Terry Shumpert, Alejandro Pena, and Edwin Pena, I should say. Edwin Nunez to end that pack. So we kind of struck out a little bit on those 90 Leaf packs, Fisk being the best card in there. Unless it's 1990 and we're talking about Kevin Moss. So two packs remain, but overall pack variety, awesome stuff. Like I said this is spanning decades, um, so chances of pulling lots of iconic rookies. We'll do 89 for deck next, see if we can pull a Griffey out of here. But if we fall short of a Griffey, at least we have, you know, Rennie Johnson, Sheffield, Smoltz, Biggio, a bunch of other big names we can pull out of here. Stoudemire, we'll always love this design, though. Very iconic, I think, so at least Ray Knight. Bob Kipper was a name that I liked a lot as a kid. John Cerruti, the tiny bite size giant sticker. Mike McFarland, Carmen Castillo, Jim Pankovitz. We got a Ripken portrait card. Bill Pakota, Billy Hatcher, who I was pumped on probably right around the time these came out. And Hershiser's World Series card. So that ends that pack. No Griffey rookie in there, no big name rookies. But we are left with 82 Donruss. And high hopes to pull Cal Ripken rookie or Elise Smith. Got some other like kind of lower end rookies you might find in here. Like uh, Tim Wallach, Steve Sachs, even Babe Ruth puzzle piece. And you got a bunch of errors. Donruss quality control was pretty awful in the beginning. It's the second year of Donruss. Fernando Valenzuela, 
literally <laughs> just got done having a good cry when that photo was shot. It's a second year for Nato Valenzuela in the Dodgers Hall of Fame, but uh, has never yet made it to Cooperstown. Grant Jackson, we have Dave Winfield, Diamond Kings, Bobby Gritch, Doug, Raleigh, speaking of Raleigh, Roscoe, George Foster, and Ron Hassey to end that pack. I don't see any offensive signage in the background there, so look at that. <laughs> look at that stash. So all in all, awesome pack selection. I love it. Uh, Mike Piazza, the commemorative card, probably the best card that I pulled, but we also had a bunch of Hall of Famers and whatnot out of that box. But let me know what, think, what you think in the comments down below if you plan on getting yourself a box. I'd uh, love to hear your feedback. Thank you guys all for watching. And check out RetroWaxBox.com and their wide selection of products. And I will see you back tomorrow night for the Duke's Mystery Packs rip. Have a great night, you guys.